What's up guys? This is Headcase on these sticks, playing a little Duels of the Planeswalkers 2014, and today I'm going to be playing Chant of the Moldaya. This is my Eldrazi Light version of Chant of the Moldaya. I think this is keep playing. Um I think I'm gonna lay Scoop Mob turn one too. That way I can just waste removal on it. Yeah. Yeah, there are not a lot of uh, Eldrazi's in this deck. There are a bunch of really efficient green creatures, which are my favorite creatures in Magic. So, I like this deck better, I think, than my previous version. I actually think it's better, too, so that's always nice, right? The first deck was kind of neat because it took advantage of exploration in, like, a billion land. Alright, so <laughs> getting mana screwed with this deck is not ideal. Um, I need to be ripping lands. Like, I wish I would just, like just be ripping lands. I'd be fine with that. For the rest of the game, I'd be fine with that. Nah, maybe not. I eventually need to get something else, because Block Worm may or may not get me there. I'm playing against Avis's Glory, though, and I always love to beat the shit out of Avis's Glory. Even with an Honor of the, the Pure on the battlefield, I do not give a damn. But that 3-2 with Vigilance is pretty good. Draven Valiant, I don't think he's that good, but when he's a 3-2 with Vigilance... Decent. Okay, so missed the land. I mean, that's really frustrating, but, you know, I kept two lander. It's not like... I mean, there's a very slight increase in percentage that, or, or probability that I draw a land because I'm running 27 land, I think. I'm, I, maybe I cut it down to 26 with this, this version, but still, I'm running a shit ton. Thankfully for me, though, he doesn't have the best start. He does have... What the fuck? Not saying that's a bad play, but he probably should have... Yeah, weird. That could be a good play for him if he's down on lands, but it's just a weird time to... And he exiled it. No, what the fuck? That is so weird. It's like, why would you shoot yourself in the foot like that? I don't know. Um, I could probably... I don't know. Got mana screwed again, so I'm gonna have to dig myself out of a hole. This uh, scoop mob looks pretty fucking silly, doesn't right now, doesn't he? So just cast this colony heart and pass turn back. This glade heart will eventually do me some good. I don't understand why. What the hell? I guess he thought he's gonna get him a flyer and he needed the land. So weird. Maybe he like just felt like he desperately needed the land. I don't know. That was a really weird play. You Steam players, you are a tricky bunch. Some tricky, tricky fuckers. So I'm, I've got a feeling I'm about to get my fiend. I'm about to get fiend hunted right here. If he passes turn back, I'm. Oh wow, land. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cast explore. There, there's one, one of them bastards, and. Yeah, sure, I'll use the ability. Um, yeah, sure, I'll use the ability. Okay, so we're getting back in there slowly. And the only reason we're this comfortable is because he pathed his, <laughs> his Doom Traveler. Bold Strat, bold Strat from you stream, or that you Steam guys. I'm, of course, just kidding. It's definitely not a reflection on you guys. And I'm not even really talking shit. I just think it's funny that he did that. And, you know, this is one of my early matches in Steam, so this is one of my early experiences with it. Land! Okay. Alright. I'm back in the runnings now. Because now... Yes, I would love to. Also, yes, I'd love to. Did I put on a setting that... that, that, that I feel like I want that to automatically resolve. I'm sick of doing it. Um, five more lands, so that's going to start popping off. And I have... Um, a... What do you want to call it? A chump factory. I'm just going to have eventually 1-1 one, one saps for days that I can just chump down all this shit with. Angelic Overseer is really the only thing I don't want to see, but even then I have the all his dust in hand. I don't think I'm going to commit to the board anymore. Like, say I pull an Oracle of Moldaya, I probably won't cast it. And I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to take six here. Hopefully I draw the land and I get most of it back. I 
yeah, pretty pretty weird game so far. <laughs> so uh, I'm still having fun though. I, I I don't think I have a bad time with this deck. Getting mana screwed with this deck is a little frustrating, but eh, I get over it pretty quick. It's all part of the game, guys. It's not like a magic elf just runs in there and goes spell, spell, land, spell, spell, land, spell, spell, land. Doesn't really do that for you. Don't know what he's thinking about. O-ring. Oh, wow. Do not do the right play. Colony Heart is the right play. Yes. <laughs> well, I need a land so bad, I can't stand it. Yes. All right. We're in the money. We're in the money. All right, so we're good. I think we're probably okay even to swing in with. I am at fucking six, though. And I really can't jump down to stuff, so... Yeah, not yet. Let's see what he's got. Angelic Overseer. That is not an Angelic Overseer. That is an Elite Inquisitor. When he dies, he gets a 1-1. One, one. Cool. El God Inquisitor. Freeze that. Go get me a dick ton of saps. <clears throat> and then I'm going... Now that I have a bunch of... Uh, chumps, I'm probably going to start swinging in with my... Now 9-9, nine -nine, right? Yeah. Grazing Glade Heart's pretty sweet for me. So is the Palaka Worm that I can now do. No real reason to... All is dust. I'm trying to think if I want him to trade out, tri triple block the Scoop Mob. I mean, he gets a what? Two plus one, okay, whatever. A one one he gets a two two flyer. I think I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna start swinging in with my scoop mob. I, I'm okay with him triple blocking. I'm okay with him taking it. I'm guessing he's gonna take it. <clears throat> oh no. Well, I'm okay with that too. And then I cast block worm. So I got chumps for days. My life total's back at a respectable amount. And he has no attacks except with his fire. His fire shouldn't really be too much of a problem. I do have Tooth and Nail, which should just, I mean, almost immediately seal the deal. I'm trying to think if I should play around Hallow Burial. My board state is pretty damn good, so... Mm, maybe I'd just put down one of the creatures with Tooth and Nail. That is a May ability, right? Oh, yeah, up to two, so I can only do one. Because I have a 13-13 and a 7-7, and the 7-7 has Trample, so... Yep. I'm gonna swing, swing. And he only has Chumps for so many more turns. He has plenty of remo He still has four cards in his hand, so I wonder what those cards are. Huh, not too sure. If shit gets really real, I still have this all, all is dust. I don't really picture that. Unless he casts Angelic Overseer, like top decks it. I don't really see that being a play. Or, um, shit, whatever drops him all those, uh, one ones. God, I hate how I can't think sometimes. And yeah, I'll ramp it, Grove. I'll get me some more saps. And set myself up for Tooth and Nail next turn, no matter if I draw the land or not. That seems pretty good. And pass the turn back. Like I said, I don't really want to cast out Grazing Gladeheart. 11 is pretty healthy. I'm not too worried about it. That 3-3 three, three fire is not all that big of a deal, I don't think. Really kind of just playing around Hollow... Well, maybe I should have put it down. If I'm not... If I'm not playing around Hollow Burial, I might as well just go all out by not playing against Hollow... Or not playing around Hollow Burial. And I want him to cast... That freaking spell now, because it's driving me up the wall. Five mana with flashback. Killing me. Alright, so I have nine mana. So I go do... Yeah. Tooth and Nail. Post-combat for Avenger of Zendikar and... 
Primeval Titan. I have a 1717 on the battlefield right now, by the way. Might have been smart to start swinging in with some of these saps, but I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think they're going to come into effect, really. Entwine. Holy shit, I almost didn't do that. What are you going to do? Responses? Path, okay. Uh... So I guess that's a give up play. Or maybe he's going for Hallow Burial Mana? No, he already has it. I don't know what that was. I guess he's given up. He's kind of prone to doing that, didn't he? Oh shit, I almost didn't grab Primeval Titan. Okay, so I'm guessing they do these triggers right. You, you, and you. I'm guessing they do those triggers right. We'll see. Yeah, they did. Okay, and then I also will get to have that landfall ability, so that's nice. Yeah, this guy just loves exiling his own stuff, doesn't he? Dad exile. Uh, yeah, I'd love to use that ability. Boom! So, yeah, that probably definitely is overextending, but that <laughs> board state is ridiculous. Uh, holding back a hollow barrel for this, this whole time would be nuts. No, it's not going to do it. Maybe I was playing into hollow burial a little bit, but... Eh, whatever. Because I could, I, you know, I still had Tangle back, and I could have even dropped the Glade Heart to get landfall abilities to pretty much cancel out his 3-3. But I don't know, it's just fun canceling big, or to uh, put down big stuff like that. And that scoop mob is now a 21-21. Sure, I'll use that ability. And I'm going to hit space just to see what this looks like. Boom! <laughs> that escalated rather quickly. This was a pretty fun game. I had fun. I don't know what the hell he was doing. I guess the mentor of the meek was a give up, obviously. Um, yeah, when he was that Billy, sure. Yes. And the 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 mentor of the meek was just like a shot in the foot kind of thing. And the Doom Traveler, he just didn't know how the interaction worked. So do I have my first? Okay, he's going to let it go through. I thought maybe he was going to try to do the old freeze move like you Xbox players do. Anyway, that was a fun game. I had fun. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you homies later.